hey y'all hey y'all hey welcome back y'all already know we getting ready to get into this little quick little video so y'all i have been summons i have been emailed i mean it's been all type of shit that's been going down onto this platform and y'all basically like reese where the fuck are you at what are you doing we want to see a real cute shirt. We want to see what you're doing right now. So, y'all, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and apologize, even though I don't put videos out on Saturdays and Sundays. That's kind of my off days. But I got to let you know that I was not feeling well at all this weekend. I mean, at all. I stayed in the bed all weekend. I just got a little bit of energy up to come on here and go ahead and do this video. Now... Even though I was sick, I still had individuals that were in the bushes for me, okay? So, so I didn't even really kind of have to be in there. I was getting, you know, updates, updated regularly, okay? Now, what I have heard and what um, I have seen, I have seen that this weekend was a total shit show. This weekend was on some bullshit. Okay, that, that's what everybody been telling me. That's what I even saw from my own eyes this morning when I had went around and looked at a couple of videos. Okay. Now, look, 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 look here. Style it with the boots uh, created by me, one and only Reese. Um, yeah. What were you doing over there, Style it with the boots daughter, Liv the Stallion? So, we got Liv the Stallion. We got Lorenzo Smart, also known as Zolo Bands. And these two feel like they want to go ahead and act a fool on YouTube. Let me tell y'all something right now. <laughs> if these two stay together, okay, throughout the whole damn summertime, y'all better hold on tight, put y'all seatbelts on, because y'all getting ready to be in for some straight fuck shit, okay? <laughs> See, what y'all have seen, this is just the beginning of it, all right? This is just the beginning. It's like starting just a little, just a tad, tad, tad bit, okay? But what I am seeing, what I am hearing, this get ready to be some bullshit, y'all. This really get ready to be some bullshit. I might have to actually start making videos on Saturdays and Sundays. I just actually might. Okay. Um, so anyway, I always thought, you know, this little relationship they had was kind of weird as shit. Okay. Okay. So y'all look at here, look at here, listen here, listen here, because let me tell y'all, this was some ratchet shit. This shit was ratchet. So you got Zolo. Okay. He didn't, he and lived and got in total, whatever the shit may be. And, you know, he done went live and, you know, he called himself exposing Olivia. I mean, it was some ratchet ass shit. So he goes live, you get me. He got, you know, the reactors in there. He got, you know, some of YouTube, uh, Live the Stallion subscribers in there. And he was dragging the fuck out of Olivia. Not only was he dragging the fuck out of Olivia, it seemed like the chat was dragging the fuck out of Olivia. All right. I said, look ahead, look ahead. It's about to be some bullshit. This happened on Friday. Oh shit. We got all a Saturday to deal with too. <laughs> so wait a minute. Okay, so he comes on, all right, he's inside of his room, you know, because he lives at a halfway house and he's homeless. Oh, yeah, we gonna get to that. I told y'all, this was some ratchet ass shit. <laughs> so anyway, he goes, you know, and he's getting it. He going in on live. He said that he met Olivia on P.O.F. Yeah, he met Liv the Stallion on P.O.F. Soon as he said that, I said, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. So, okay. So, they started dragging the fuck out of Olivia. He said that Olivia, uh, uh, Stella, the, Stella with the boots, uh, daughter box was dry. Yeah, he said that it was dry. It was like dry as a desert. All right. People had me dying. They were saying, oh, live tuna fish, 
doesn't have any mayo in it. <laughs> this was weird as fuck for me because let me tell y'all the whole entire chat. Basically, they wanted to know what Olivia tuna fish minus the mayo smelled like. And I gotta tell y'all, I mean, it was common at the common at the common at the common about it. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I felt kind of weird. Real weird. Okay? Um, why did y'all wanna know what live, you know, tuna fish box minus the mayo smelled like? I mean, it just wasn't one person answering. It wasn't two, po per two people asking it. It wasn't three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It was none of that. It was way more than that. Wanted to know, you know, what was going on down below. Okay. Now, Olivia, I don't know if your box or whatever really is tuna fish and don't have no mayo, Olivia. But, Olivia, you may want to go ahead and drink yourself some more water. Get yourself some KY jelly. Do whatever it is that you need to do. <laughs> because these people in these chats, they are worried about you so bad down there. <laughs> I mean, Zolo, he was over there calling her fat you know he was over there calling her a hoe he was calling her a whore a slut i mean everything okay so basically what must have happened was they got in a little riff raff all right and um olivia once they got into it she decided to go ahead and slide on over to uh zolo band's youtube channel and take down his videos Mm -hmm. which I don't even understand why people made a big deal about it because I don't think he had a uh, big viewing on any of the videos. When I checked, he was only in two-digit subscribers. I don't know how many he might be in right now because of Olivia, but yeah, it, it, it wasn't nothing. You get what I'm saying. Real serious. All right. So he's still on live or whatever, you know what I mean? They getting on him about sleeping in a twin bed. Mm-hmm. They getting on him about why his closet looked like that in the back, all right? I mean, they getting on him about his hairline. When I tell y'all, this shit was a shit show, okay? It was crazy. He said that Olivia can't even seduce him or, you know what I mean, anything. But Olivia, what I want you to know, though, too, because um, he said that, you know, your tuna came down there. It was dry. No mayo. It was just dry. Um... A lot of times when that happened, you know, and, and, and then you said something about Zolo's, you know, over there was a little guy and, you know, and this and that. He had a, you know, he had a little uh, uh, Peter Weeder. That, that, that's what you told us, Olivia. And then um, he said, wait a minute. She had said, I had a Peter Weeder, a small Peter Weeder. I mean, she doesn't have any walls. That's why it's small to her. <laughs> Boy, that was some entertaining shit. Y'all two are biggest fucking fools there is for clout. Okay. So then Olivia, she goes head on and all this shit. And you know, Olivia gets in her car. She calls herself going to where Zolo is at because he's homeless. She says that he stays in, you know, a um a, a halfway house or whatever. And um, he doesn't have, uh, he doesn't get to see his daughter and all of that type of stuff. And, you know, she was only there because, you know, she felt like she needed to give him a hand, you know, a hand because he needed it. Sort of like when I sent her the gift card. Okay, you just wanted to give her a hand. Okay, see right there, Olivia, that right there summed it right on up. You even answered the question about me sending you a gift card. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Yeah, so I mean, girl, when I tell y'all the shit was crazy. So Olivia, go ahead and Olivia puts on her tough Tony. Yeah, Olivia put that tough Tony on, y'all, okay? And go ahead and walk in there and ask for him, okay? So after all of that, we didn't hear anything, right? Now, Zolo is listening at her live, and people in the live are telling Zolo that Liv is at the place he stays at. Zolo says that Liv went to the wrong address. 
See, that right there was what got me because Olivia, if you have been dealing with him and he doesn't have a car and you say that he does not have a car, that means that you have been picking him up. So why would you be at the wrong address, halfway house, you get what I'm saying, group home, whatever, you, whatever it is, when you've been picking him up from there? So that's what blew me. And I'm like, this shit is a skit because I'm like, you damn sure know where the guy lives at. You, you definitely do. Okay, you definitely do. All right. So that was, you know, kind of weird and everything. So Olivia, she called herself being tough Tony, went there to, you know, confront him. And, you know, it didn't go like that and all this other shit. And then you got Olivia. She riding all around talking about she don't understand why she does not attract, you know, the good guys, the guys with money, you know, things of that nature. That's what she was saying. Olivia even went to go ahead and get herself some Taco Bell. She was eating the shit out of that damn Taco Bell. Okay, if Taco Bell, if you ever need a commercial, I'm trying to tell y'all, slide on over there to Stella with the boots, live the stallion. All right, slide on over there because she would give, I mean, y'all, even Zolo said, damn, she eating her, she eating her food and she eating the kids food. <laughs> When I tell y'all this was some damn bullshit, and I'm like, okay. So now you got Zolo over there, and um, he then calls some other female on the phone. All right, so he got this idiot on the phone. The girl was stupid as shit, okay? He got her on the phone on live, and basically this clown is telling Zolo to go ahead and come back home. Okay, after, before Zolo had already gave her the boot and blocked her out of his phone for live. But yet, she is telling you to come back. I said, you know what? I said, this right here is some bullshit, okay? Yeah, so she telling you to come home and you done fucked her over for live. I, that's when I knew. I said, this summer is getting ready to bring some bullshit okay so the whole time he over there basically just clowning the girl you know basically making a scene all right and um she over there going for it you you, you get what i'm saying she over there going for it he telling her you know and slap olivia whatever whatever he said and she was like you know i don't have no problem with it or whatever it is it i said girl first of all this is the whole thing i'm gonna break it down all right um Y'all two women, Olivia and you and Zolo, you a woman too, because of the way that you reacted, you reacted like a childish ass kid. That's what you did. Um, Olivia, let me tell you where you are stupid at. The shit that this young man has said about you does not come back in return to actually make you look good, Olivia. The way he, he came about you and all of that, only thing he did say, I will, I'm going to address, he said that Olivia does not stink because he would not be dealing with her. All right. But all of the rest of the shit that he has said about you, you think that that is cute? That wasn't cute under any circumstances. But again, Olivia, these are the men that you pick. Okay? They the men that you pick, and they the ones that come up on here and say the shit about you that they say about you. Okay? So, I don't even know why you are even talking to him. You think it's cute. And see, that's the thing. What y'all don't understand is that Liv the Stallion, if she's not getting the type of attention that she wants, Liv will do stuff. Liv will do stuff to fuck with him. You get what I'm saying? To get the, the attention that she craves for. Olivia craves for uh, drama. Mm -hmm. See, Gerard isn't drama for her anymore because he didn't kick her to the side. Brandon isn't drama for her anymore because he had kicked her to the side as well. So now, Olivia, to make it to 100K, she has to have somebody that is going to give her the drama. So at this point, who she has is Zolo. And Zolo, she is getting ready to use the shit out of you. Yes, she is, baby. Okay? Now, what I am going to say to you, Olivia, is that, see, you think this is cute right now. But Zolo... He's a hood street person.
I think that you may have met your match. I think so. This one right here, he knows the games that you play. He's already been studying Brandon to see exactly what you did with him. So therefore, when it went down between you and him the other day, so he like, oh, I already know how she get down. He picks his phone up. He goes live on Instagram. Live on Instagram. Okay. But see, what happened, y'all, was that when all of this happened, Olivia in her head was like, oh, shit, I got the right one. I better go ahead and fix this shit up a little bit. So you better believe when both of them stopped, you know, talking on uh, Instagram, YouTube and all of that, Olivia called Lorenzo back because y'all already know Lorenzo was living there. Uh-huh. She called him, you know, Olivia made up real, real quick, real quick, because she knew that fucking Lorenzo had her ass by like this. He had her, okay? Now, like I said, Olivia, this is not the one to play with. Not the one at all. He is going to drag your ass all around YouTube and Instagram. Remember this, Olivia, you have created a monster. Mm-hmm. And see, what makes Lorenzo a little bit more different is the fact that he don't have a problem with telling what he needs to tell, okay? He not trying to sugarcoat anything. He not trying to lie about anything. He not trying to do anything like that, okay? And the reason I said is because y'all would have been talking to me on the camera and you said that I had a twin. I wouldn't be on here telling y'all, oh, I got a twin bed. No, I don't have any car. No, no, I don't have my daughter. I wouldn't have been on here, you get what I'm saying, telling y'all all of that. But him, mm -mm. him, he definitely, Olivia, give Ray B your fucking downfall. Mm -hmm. So while you keeping him over there and he's learning more and more and more about you, more and more and more about your mom and your kids, Olivia, you better watch it. Because that minute that you really, really piss him off and he is at the little, literally at the breaking point and is getting ready to stop fucking with you for good. Hmm. It ain't going to be cute. See, Gerard wouldn't expose you. Brandon wouldn't expose you. Maurice wouldn't expose you. Uh, Misha would not have exposed you. But that one right there... Wait for it. Wait for it. See, Brandon made you cry. Gerard made you cry. But this one right here, he going to baby make you do more than cry. He is going to bring your flat ass to the floor. All right. You're going to be on your knees. Uh-huh. Trying to get yourself back together. That's exactly what is going to happen. Now, Olivia, when you went head on and y'all did this shit and, you know, you kicked it out or whatever, what got me was basically both of y'all decided to come back on the camera. And Liv, I don't know that you know, but normally subscribers, they don't like to be played as a fool. Mm-hmm. They take that shit real serious because they support you. So when they feel that something is going down, yeah, they in it with you. They not playing. But you over there, you playing. They not playing. So that is why, Olivia, because I looked at your sub count. Your sub count has dropped. Mm-hmm. It has dropped. Because you, you decided to go ahead and drop some fake-ass bullshit on your subscribers. Mm-hmm. How cute do you think that is now, Liv? Yeah, how cute do you think it is? I mean, you're riding in your car, Olivia, looking dumb as all outdoors. You look so dumb. It wasn't even funny. I'm just looking. I'm like, is this, is she really serious? She is serious. She is thinking that she's tough Tony and is going to run around and act like she's going to beat the bricks off of Zolo. Okay. 
Now, like I said, Olivia Zolo is in it to win it. Again, don't let Zolo get you fucked up. Because for some reason, Olivia, I feel like Zolo is going to get the brakes beat off of you. I really do. I feel in my heart that it is coming. Okay? That's why I keep telling you, Olivia, you said you don't have anything except for a taser. Girl, you better keep that taser, I mean, to you close. Yeah. So, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and slide on up off of here. All right. But remember, y'all keep all y'all notifications on. <laughs> because this right here is just the beginning. Just the beginning. So I'm going to see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Later.